Polls show the economy is the top issue for voters and one of the best for former President Donald Trump's bid to return to the White House. Trump already pinning the market route on Harris. This morning, he offered voters a simple choice, Trump cash or Kamala crash. Harris quiet on the issue today as she prepares to announce her running mate. Joining us now to discuss that and more is Republican Congressman from Georgia, Rich McCormick. Congressman McCormick, is bad news for investors, good news for Republicans' hopes? Hey, it could be. Obviously, the president always takes a blame for whatever the economy does, whether it's successful or unsuccessful, even if you have a split house. Uh, this is a reflection on Biden, whether he wants it or not, Kamala, by de facto. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, because it looks like this is just the tip of the iceberg. OK, but the stock market is still up 10 percent on the year and more than 50 percent since President Biden took office. If you want to blame Biden for the dip, shouldn't he also get credit for the previous success? Uh, you could say that. I, I think if you look at the success, a lot of times it's because of the Democrats have taken away all their options as far as investments go. Uh, when you're overtaxing everything and, and capital gains, by the way, is next on the list. Uh, where do you put your money? Where are you safe to put your money where you can actually have decent gains. Uh, but when the stock market starts to readjust, which it does from time to time, we expect that if it happens on your issue and you have no other way to say, hey, look, the economy is doing great as the joblessness marches up, whether it be people looking for jobs or just unemployed, period, uh, whether you look at inflation, which we've seen massive inflation during this period of time, where you're seeing other things like the border, crime, debt, energy, education, all of major concerns for Americans, and which the Democrats are on the wrong side of history right now, it becomes an issue for your party. Okay, you represent a key district in a swing state, battleground within a battleground within a battleground. Georgia is enormously important in this election. But former President Trump took some swipes at your governor this weekend. Take a listen. But Kemp doesn't want to end it because he's a bad guy, he's a disloyal guy, and he's a very average governor. Little Brian, little Brian Kemp, bad guy. Why? Why, why, would, why would he do that? Why, why would the former president attack a popular governor in a battleground state where he lost by just 10,000 votes four years ago? You know, uh, I've uh, many times over the years been asked to justify what the president says, uh, and, and I always avoid that because I think the president speaks for himself. Uh, I think it's really important that we focus on the issues right now. We have the Democrats on the run in many ways. Uh, if you look at the things I just mentioned, the things that matter most to people, the things that are contentious, the things that unite the Republican Party and divide the Democrats, border, crime, debt, education, energy. I just want the president to say things that, that keep his support. Uh, I thought he was doing really well. He went up to D.C. recently and reached out to people he normally doesn't get along with. And I thought that showed a tremendous amount of uh, evolution and maturity after 10 years in politics that he was going the right direction. But, you know, we're, we're all human. And we're all going to say certain things out of passion, and, and that goes for the governor, too. But the main thing is we all want the same thing. We want to defeat Harris in this November. We want what's best for this country. Uh, there's going to be things that people are going to do that maybe don't settle with everybody inside of a party or outside of a party. But I think this is uh, just one little thing in the big comparison to the things that matter most to people. Okay, Democrats are making a real point about, you know, they're hyping up Republicans for Harris. They're trying to peel off Nikki Haley primary voters. But to your very point, right, uh, the J.D. Vance pick certainly antagonized some of those folks. And we're hearing from the former president again about his 2020 grievances. Where is the outreach? We've heard a lot about a new Trump. Where is that outreach to those persuadable suburban voters, many of whom live in districts like yours? I think you saw it in the debate when you stay on topic, when you talk about the things that differentiate the parties right now. And those things are substantial. When you talk about over 10 million people coming across the southern border who can't pay taxes, who can't work, who can use any excuse, uh, any excuse whatsoever to come in here illegally, and they're not undocumented uh, migrants. They're well-documented illegal invaders who have been taken to this country who will absolutely affect the 2030 census, who will absolutely draw from this nation's resources and, and do it, and, and, and there's no stopping it once you open that gate and you say, it's okay, we're going to ignore the law. We aren't a sovereign nation. We're going to allow you in. That's just one of many issues. When you, when you say it's okay to go into a store and take $1,000 per day, don't tell me that doesn't support 
crime, criminal elements. You don't tell me the debt that we're running up right now isn't going to be paid for by our children. That cheap energy doesn't matter I'm a, to the average American. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.